start joining us once again on the broadcast because uh, we'll have to seek reactions uh, from Baramati, from Bombay, uh, as well as uh, uh, from uh, Ranchi to get us uh, uh, an update on what is happening on the ground because I'm told in Baramati the celebrations have already started. Now, whether they've started only for the seat win, which uh, he certainly won, or started beyond that, we'll have to come and see. Uh, we are also being told that the BJP is all set uh, to celebrate the victory in Maharashtra, but they are just being held back by their party leaders uh, before the Laddu distribution uh, begins. We are uh, past 11 o'clock, uh, so more than 50% of what matters is done. So, if something dramatic had to happen, it should have happened right now. It has happened in the past one hour. We've seen a dramatic shift in Jharkhand, where it was neck to neck, and it is Heman Soren and the and the Congress in the India Alliance. They needed to get 45. They're sitting at 48. The BJP, even with the others and the NDA, are not even close. So, it's uh, looking a one-way street in Jharkhand. Could change. Anything has changed, and as we as we as we speak, uh, some more figures are coming in uh, on my screens, but these ladies and gentlemen are now turning into victories because, uh, for example, in the Aligarh by poll, we are on the eighth round of counting now. The BJP is leading by 30,000 votes. That, that chapter is already closed. Uh, in Imam Ganj, on the eighth round of counting, uh, it is uh, Roshan Manji with 30,000, uh, Deepa Manji with 34,000. So, Deepa Manji. Uh, from the hum party is winning by 4000 votes expected to take that now so there's so many bipoles taking place all of which will not form governments in mirzapur for example the bjp is expected now to win that seat uh, in junjunu also the bjp is leading by 20000 votes that seat is gone the bjp is going to win it in uh, dosa where uh, bipole was taking place eight rounds of counting has happened and it is in fact the congress D.C. Bairwa of the Congress, who is ahead by 7,000, uh, and that's going to be something happy for, for Congress. Uh, in Dungarpur, in Junjunu, I mentioned, which is where the Congress is leading. So, lots of small, small battles are taking place, but the big battle is at the bottom of your screen, and it is telling you that with every minute that passes, it gets worse for Uddhav Thakre. With every minute that passes, it's getting worse for the Congress, and with every minute that is passing, it is getting better for the BJP. The BJP, ladies and gentlemen, only contested 149 seats. If they are anywhere close to 120, wow. they'll have one better than 5 out of 6. Uh, and that will be a stupend, that's a wave election. This is not an election in one side won and the other lost. It's a wave election. <coughs> the Congress benchmark should have been 70. They are less than half of what they had last time and should have been 70 given the Lok Sabha performance. So, that is a decimation and it is annihilation for Sharad Pawar and Uddhav Thakre as we speak. Let me open up this conversation. Uh, Sandeep Chandra joining us on the broadcast in our studios. Uh, Gautam Mukherjee is with us and CR Keswan is joining us with Bharati Janta Party. Mr. Keswan, good to have you back. It has been a long time. Uh, I mean, something to smile about for sure. It's, uh, and, uh uh, hello 